At 10, the community of Belmina takes their fight to keep a rock quarry from coming to their small town to another level. Tonight, a local church is opening their doors to residents without Wi-Fi, giving them the opportunity to express their concerns online to officials. Wait, 31's Manny McCaffrey joins us live now with the details on how members of this community are banding together to try to block that rock quarry. Yeah, Dan and Nikel, tonight, New Beginnings Church in Belmina says they had more than 40 people walk through their doors to use their Wi-Fi to send emails to officials to get the message across. The small community does not want the proposed rock quarry coming to their town. Eddie Walton and Clayton Garth, leaders of New Beginnings Church, have grown up in Belmina. They're joining the fight, among others, to make it clear that their tight-knit community does not want a rock quarry anywhere near their town the community to come in and be able to use our internet access and send um, emails to some of the political leaders, um, some of the companies that we wanted to reach out to, and some of our local leaders. So we were able to open our doors, invite the community so they could use and have access to internet. Some members of the community have been contacted about selling their property close to the proposed quarry site. Residents like Walton and Garth want people to know that the community is against this. Our community. It's a small community, so anywhere they put it over here, it's going to be in your front yard. So when you got that type of uh, explosions, that type of shaking, uh, dynamite, rock exploding, um, they even talked about the uh, underground pressure that could shake the foundations of homes, shake the foundations of buildings. And most of our uh, residents, a large per percentage of our residents are seniors. So now we're talking about the air pollution. Uh, we're talking about excess traffic. Residents are hoping to extend the public comment period on the proposed rock quarry to January 2nd, but they'll need help from elected officials. And some Belmina residents will be meeting with State Senator Arthur Orr on Friday to try to get some help at the state level, advocating that they don't want this proposed rock quarry coming to their small community. I'm live in Madison with coverage you can count on. Maddie McCaffrey, Way 31 News.